Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an IPsec site to site VPN between a Unify UDM Pro and a NetGate SG1100 running PFSense on it. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord server, and I'll put the link in the description below. This is the topology that we'll be working with for our IPsec site-to-site -site VPN. So right here, this is our UDM Pro. And the subnets that I'll be allowing the PFSense firewall to talk to will be 192.168.10.0 and 192.168.40.0. I have a Synology NAS on 192.168.10.114 and a UNVR on 192.168.40.138. So after we create this site-to-site -site VPN, we should be able to access that from the PFSense side. And the subnet that we'll be able to reach on the UDM Pro side for the PFSense will be 192. 168.5.0. And we also have, it's not a US 16. I do have a US mini, which will be 192.168.5.x, and we'll be able to ping that from our UDM side. So first off, let's start on the UDM Pro and we'll go to networks and create a site-to-site -site VPN. I'm just gonna call this site-to-site -site VPN, and we're gonna make click off the site-to-site -site VPN radio button. Here it's gonna be a manual IPsec. We're gonna enable the site-to-site -site VPN and we're gonna add a subnet. So the subnet that we're gonna be adding will be the remote side, which will be 192.168.5.0. So 192.168.5.0 slash 24. The route distance will be 30. The interface that this traffic will be going over is our WAN 1 connection. The peer IP, this will be the public IP of the PFSense firewall. And the local WAN IP will be the public IP of our UDM Pro. We'll need to put a pre-shared key in here. You want to make sure that it's at least 10 characters are up. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to put in test1234 and then we'll press save. So now we have to go ahead and create the IPsec VPN on our PFSense side. So I'll go to VPN, we'll go to IPsec, and then we'll add P1. So the key exchange version, you want to make sure that it's the same on both sides. You could use key exchange version one or key exchange version two. We'll just leave it at one. The internet protocol will be IPv4. The interface this traffic will be going out is our WAN interface. So the remote gateway, this will be the public IP of our UDM Pro. And the description, you could just put in UDM Pro. So for me, as my router on the PFSense side isn't in bridge mode, it's just going to give me a private IP address. So I think I'm sitting at 192.168.2.x slash 24. So we need to make sure my identifier is uh, my public IP address that's being exposed. So we'll put in the IP address and then right here, we'll just type in our public IP of our PFSense. And then we need to put in the same pre-shared key that we used on the UDM Pro side. So it will be test one, two, three, four. And then under your encryption algorithm, it needs to be the same on both sides. So on the PFSense, it's AES 128 SHA 256. On the UDM Pro, it's SHA 1. So we're gonna have to switch that on the UDM Pro. And then the DH group is 14. And then we could go to the bottom and press save. All right, so now that the phase one has been created, we need to create a phase two entry. So we'll click on that and then add P2. And this is where we're gonna specify the remote networks that we want to connect to. So we could go onto remote network and the first one will be 192.168.10.0 slash 24. And we could just say UDM Pro 10. And the encryption algorithm that it's using is AES. So I'm just gonna uncheck AES 128 and then press save. And then we're gonna to have to add one more phase two entry, which will allow us to our 192.168.40 network. So we'll add P2. And then it will be the same thing, 192.168.40.0 slash 24. Uncheck the AES 128, and then we'll press save and apply changes. So now we need to uh, switch the SHA hash to SHA 256 on the UDM Pro side as it's only at SHA 1. So under our site to site VPN, we need to go to advanced options. And then under the hash, we need to switch that to SHA 256. And then all the other settings are the exact same and we'll press save. And now from our PF sent side, we should be able to hit the remote networks on the UDM Pro. 
So I'll pull up a command line. We'll go IP config, and I should be on the 192.168.5 network. So we'll go ahead and we'll ping 192.168.10.1, which is the UDM Pro router. And we could see that we could hit that. And again, we'll go to try to hit the Synology NAS at 114. We could hit that as well. And we should be able to hit the UNVR as well. So we'll ping 192.168.40.138. And we could see that we're getting ping requests back. So I'm gonna switch over to the UDM Pro. We'll switch my computer over there and we'll see if we could hit the PF Sent side. Now we're on the UDM Pro side and we could verify that by going IP config. And you could see here that we're on 192.168.10.87. And on the PF Sense, we have a USW mini switch that's sitting at 192.168.5.18. So we could go ahead and try to ping that. And as you can see, the pings time out. That's because PFSense does it differently than Unify. Within PFSense, we need to create firewall rules to allow this VPN traffic from our UDM Pro to pass through and be able to get to the subnet that we specify. So we could go back to our PFSense box and we need to create a firewall rule. So we'll go to firewall, we'll go to rules, and then we'll go under IPsec. So right now there's no rules at all in that. So we'll add a rule. We're gonna pass the traffic. It's gonna be from the IPsec interface, IPv4 address family. The protocol, we're gonna have any. So the source, we're gonna have a network of 192.168.10.0 slash 24. And the destination will be 192. 168.5.0 slash 24. And then we'll press save and apply the changes. Now we could hop back onto my UDM Pro and we should be able to hit the USW mini switch. Now we're back on the UDM side. We'll do IP config again. We could see 192.168.10.87 and then we'll ping the USW mini switch at 5.18. And there you go, you could see that the USW Mini has replied back to us. That's a pretty simple setup of how to do an IPsec site-to-site -site VPN between a UDM Pro and a PFSense NetGate SG1100. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.